Guys, what's going on? How's it going? It's John. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing, show you some gameplay footage, and do overall review over the Supa Retron HD by Hyperkin. This is a fairly new system they came out with. It comes with two controllers, which is definitely a benefit. Of course, the system, all the hookups. doesn't come with any games. And what this is, is an HD Super Nintendo clone. So I'll also do a comparison video with both showing the visual and audio differences between the HD and the standard Super Nintendo. I uh, appreciate you guys subscribing. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for leaving a comment. Let's take a closer look. Here's the box, and it matches kind of the same aesthetic as you'd see with other Hyperkin systems. It's got the shaved off corner here with their logo. It comes with two controllers. It's an HD. Now let's check out the back. More information, all in multiple languages. You got English. Looks like you got you got Spanish, French, possibly. <laughs> We're gonna open this up. And the system itself. So let's open this up. We'll take off the cardboard piece here. So here are the Super Nintendo controllers. Let me unwrap this. So here's a closer look at the controller. If I were to guess the, the cord length, I'd guess it's probably around nine feet or more. It's pretty long. It's not like what you get with the Super Nintendo minis where they're kind of short. This is definitely a good length on the controllers. It's got, this will also work with, of course, any Super Nintendo clone or console and vice versa. So Super Nintendo controllers will work on this system as well. It's all universal. Same size, different kind of layout, well, different aesthetic anyway. Uh, button layout here, get the concave buttons here, around it here. Okay, pretty basic, good feel. Shoulder buttons, pretty standard stuff, not bad. So it comes with two of those. Here is the system itself. You have, looks like you have a reset, you have a power, uh, and you also have, I'm not sure if there's a light, I think this probably lights up as a light, we'll, we'll confirm that later on. Uh, eject, power, obviously the system, the cartridge is going here. AV out, which is nice to have because in case you want to play like a Super Scope 6 game, you need to play on a standard television, it's nice that it's an option. You have your aspect ratio 4x3 by 16x9. By by this is a micro USB right here, so for power. And this is an HDMI out to hook up to your TV. Pretty cool stuff on the bottom here. You'll see you have your option between NTSC and PAL. So whether you live in PAL region or NTSC, you can kind of switch between that. That basically changes the, the lag, kind of adjusts it to the TV. Here's some instructions on how to hook it up. Okay. Let's see what else this comes with here. There's another box. You have HDMI cable. Okay. You have AV cable, micro USB with a USB cable, and there's actually a wall adapter here, so to plug it into your wall. It's nice that this is universal now. Most clone consoles will use this, so it's nice. And that's it. So let me uh, plug in a cartridge and show you how uh, it will grip or not grip. So I'm definitely going to test my flash cart, make sure it works on this clone. Sometimes it's not compatible with some clones, it is with others, so we'll test that out. But I can tell you the grip actually is not bad at all. It just clicks in like so, and it doesn't grip. That's actually a, a nice Nice thing, it doesn't grip it much at all, unlike other clones, but it's definitely plus. It will play Super Famicom games as well. So if you have Super Famicom games, of course it's PAL. The slot is compatible with both. There's no restrictions. That's a plus. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna plug this bad boy in. We'll do a uh, gameplay comparison and go from there.
So in conclusion, what do I think about the Super Retron HD clone console by Hyperkin? I think it's a pretty decent HD Super Nintendo clone, to be honest with you. Uh, I like the fact that it doesn't really grip the carts much, which is a, definitely a positive. You usually get that with a lot of clone consoles, that they definitely address that. I love the fact that it plays Super Famicom games, as well as PAL and NTSC games, so it really opens up your library of games that you normally wouldn't be able to play on just a standard Super Nintendo or a standard Super Famicom, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, I love the fact that it also has AV out, which is definitely nice in case you want to play like Super Soap 6 games or games that you would be able to play on an HD TV. It may have been hard to tell visually the differences between this and HD as well to a, a standard Super Nintendo. Uh, visually, you can tell noticeably that it's much sharper graphics. That the image is sharper, you don't see the shadowing as much. The colors are actually darker and more crisp. I don't know if you noticed that from the comparison video. The audio, however, is more quiet. As you probably noticed, the audio is quieter on the Super Retron HD compared to your standard Super Nintendo. It will play flashcards, which is definitely a positive. And this works different than the Retron 5, so please don't get this confused with the Retron 5, which is another product by Hyperkin. That particular system will dump the ROMs and read the games, the ROM of the game through the system. This is just, it reads it off, there's a board in here, so it just reads it off directly from the cart, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, and I like the fact you can switch between 16 by 9 by 3, uh, 4 by 3 as I showed you comparison. That game I showed you, Justice Beaver, is actually a game I'm working on at Collector Vision Games. Uh, it's coming out for Super Nintendo very soon. So I wanted to throw that in there for you so to show you kind of what, how that's coming along and show you the comparison, obviously, with what it looks like by 4 by 3 to 16 by 9. 16 by 9 will uh, appear as more stretched. I prefer the standard 4 by 3 because that's how the standard Super Nintendo was back in the day. Um, uh, overall, it's it's a decent system. Uh, it retails for $70. That's not bad considering that the Analog Super NT retails for three times that. Now that system is the cream of the crop for Super Nintendo HD clones. That is an FPGA, it's different. You can actually add scan lines. You can do a lot of cool things on that system that you can't do on this. So it's not really comparing apples to apples there. That's definitely uh, got a lot more benefits, but you're also gonna pay more for it. But if you're looking for a decent price, HD Super Nintendo clone, this might be an option for you. Thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you so much for commenting, leaving a comment. That means the world to me. I will see you guys soon. Take care, and of course, game on.